Hello, hello, Internet, and welcome to this here Commodore 64. Welcome to my operating system. Oops. Out of data error. Oh my goodness, I've pressed the wrong button. What happened? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, of course, I'm lying. This is not a Commodore 64, but it is the Vice emulator on my Windows 7 Ultimate. Oh yes, of course I've got the real thing here, I've got a Commodore 64 here, I've also got a Commodore 128D here, and I've got an Amiga, actually I've got three of them, I've got an Amiga 2000, I've got an Amiga 4000, and I've got an Amiga 1200. I've also got an Amiga 500, but actually that one belongs to my wife. So yes, Commodore was uh, the big computer company uh, in the olden days in this household. We were all big Commodore Amiga fans. Uh, my first computer was a VIC-20. <laughs> so yes, actually those were um, our PlayStations of the day. Um, we played lots of games on them and I still got them here. I still got them up and running. At the moment my Commodore 128 is kind of a gaming station, especially for my little boy and myself. Um, but of course, I never recorded those games because I wouldn't have known how. Um, I, I can put up a camera, of course, and point it at the monitor, but I think the frame rate on this monitor is uh, so bad that it probably wouldn't look very good. I never actually tried it, though, um, but I don't think it would work. So I, I was kind of taken up. I mean, of course, I do have a few of these old game in my miscellaneous section, but let's be fair, let's be honest, those games are um, web games. They're remakes, um, usually Flash, if I'm not very, very much mistaken, so they're not the real thing, but very well made remakes. Um, yeah played on a website, so that's why I was able to record them. Um, these, these, the, this, however, is the, um, the real thing, the original thing, um, on an emulator, of course, because I can actually record that. So I thought, um, let's just get into it and record a little game. This is one of my my old time classics that um, I've never been very good at, <laughs> so be warned. And also, I've um, well, I can't stop it from. Uh, why doesn't this work? Ah, okay. Sorry, wasn't accepting my joystick here for a moment. I hate it when that happens, but hey, that's emulation for you. Um, yeah, so this is Space Taxi. Wonderful game. Um, had lots of fun with it back in the days. Haven't played it for ages, so this is probably going to go horribly wrong. Of course, this is a cracked version with all kinds of... Uh, cheats and god mode and whatnot but uh cab can't kill passenger but of course we're going to play it the hard way the original game we're just going to start the game and this game uh had something very rare in it first of all the 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 level design was hilarious it was written by a guy called john f kutcher uh who's, who's not related in any way to the ex-husband of Demi Moore. Uh, like you can see here, it was made in 1984 on the Commodore 64. I, um, as far as I know, they, they, tr they ported it to the Amiga, but it wasn't that good anymore. Yeah, um, it's all I remember, basically. So, we're going to start with Beginner, because I'm a chicken. This game is horribly hard. And you crash a lot, you lose taxis a lot, because space taxi, you're flying around in a taxi in space. The level design is hilarious, it's a lot of fun. And it's one of the few games 
that uses voice sampling. There you go. <laughs> and they even sound different because the, the pitch is slightly different. You have to be very careful with with these because as soon as you use the landing gear, you can only use your up and down thrusters. You cannot use left or right anymore. And if you land too hard, yeah, where else? Whoop. If you bounce too hard, uh, the taxi will go... Bad one, please. Oh, I'm losing money. And of course, the longer it takes, the more money you lose. However, the faster you fly, of course, the um, more likely it is to bump into objects and you lose more fuel. And the problem is, if you've got no more fuel... Oh, that's convenient. Bad three. Of course, if if you if you're out of fuel, you're just going to crash. Interesting thing is that the people keep coming and want to use your taxi, even if they just saw you crash. They still go, like, "You're welcome. You're welcome." And of course, you can also you can kill passengers. If if I land on top of this guy here, he's just gonna go, "Oh," and then he's gonna be dead. Uh, but, of course, the next daring passenger is always going to appear and go like, oh, I'm going to risk my life to get to pad one, please. Oh, up. Up. This cloud, I've always hated this cloud here because it's, it's hard. When I first played this, I crashed like three taxis trying to get on top of this cloud. Skyscraper. Bad one, please. There we go. Ooh, no problem. We're just going to. Will we make four four bucks? Four bucks. Four bucks. Three ninety one. Not quite, but all right. Okay, he goes down, and the next guy is going to. Hey, taxi. Over there. Yep. Boom. So far, I've not crash landed. Uh, it can happen. If, for example, if you activate the landing gear and you're actually too low, this taxi is going to crash. So you, there's there's loads of possibilities of doing it wrong. Yeah, bad two. But so far, I've been flying amazingly well. Like, bear with me; it's going to happen. Especially when the levels get harder, and they will get harder. If you've never played this game, man, you should. Actually, oh, you could have jumped, you lazy loot. Um, actually, um, as far as I know, well, I've, I, I, um, I'm not sure because I, I turned many of my original floppy disks into images in order to play them on various emulators though it never occurred to me that I could record them actually So I, I don't know if this is uh, if I downloaded this image from the internet or if that's actually from an original floppy disk of mine. Oh, here we go. Now it gets nasty. Do you see the the F pad? We have to go there sooner or later. Ooh, that was a little bit too tough. Because we need to refuel. We're going to have to refuel sooner or later. So I don't know. Is that an original disc of mine, this one? Or... Or did I download this one? I, I, I don't know, but I'm quite sure you can... Download this one. It's a classic. It's, it's it's bound to be on the internet somewhere. Ooh. 
And like I said, all you basically need to play it is um, the Vice emulator. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Here we go. Um, if you want to play it with a joystick, though, that's that's going to be a little bit harder. Ooh. That one, please. Um, I'm going to bring him to pad one, and then I'm going to refuel. Ouch. You're welcome. You got to wait. Oh, damn it! Uh. And if you want to play this particular game, um, I'm quite sure you can find an image somewhere. Damn it, I'm not, not concentrating anymore. It's funny how the guy keeps waving. Oh, oh there, there, there was my taxi. It just crashed. The driver died horribly, but I'm gonna keep waving. No problem. I'm going to take a taxi. Seemingly, they have no other choice. Is that? No, that's not going to. Ouch. Bad four, please. Yes, I'll check. In case you're wondering how to get uh, your original floppy disks into images, um, there are several possibilities. Um, what I did was, I have an old PC, bad five, in my cellar. This PC runs uh, Windows 98. And Star Commander, which is a program with which you can actually address uh, Commodore floppy drives. However, you need an, uh, a special cable. Uh oh. I'm not gonna make it up. Ah! Damn it. Um, you need a special cable. Ah, that was a terrible level. You need a special cable to, um... To connect the, uh, Commodore floppy drive to the PC. Um, but actually, you can you can either make it yourself. There are instructions on the internet, or you can buy those on eBay. Um, actually, people who make them and sell them. And then, yeah. And with this setup, um, I was able to basically um, turn all of my Commodore floppy disks into images and save them onto one of my backup hard drives. So, you're welcome. So whenever I want to look at uh, some of my old data, because actually I did not only game, I, I wrote a lot of uh, stuff, and uh, even did a few databases. So I can always use one of these emulators to actually read the images even if the floppy is broken. And of course you can always also use this star commander to turn these images back into floppy disks. All you need is an empty old floppity floppy disk and 
then you can actually do that. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yep. So I actually had, uh, uh, well, actually, I was missing games that I wanted to play. Ooh, that worked. Nice flying there. That I wanted to play but couldn't. And uh, so I downloaded them from the internet and then turned the image. Or actually, uh, re imported the image back onto a floppy disk. And then was able to play it on the original hardware. So if you still have one of these gems at home, don't give it away. Use it! Most of them, even if they're broken, are usually pretty easy to fix. I mean, I mean, let's face it, computers are actually not that complicated. Uh, Hardware-wise. I'm, I'm not a particular guru when it comes to uh, software and especially modern operating systems. Like... Windows. I mean, I, I'm quite good with Linux, so I I, I can also because I, I've experimented a lot with it, and I'm also not too bad with Unix. So macOS, I was very happy when macOS 10 was released, and I could uh, actually relate to the operating system a lot better than with macOS 8 and 9. You're welcome, little robot man. Well, hey, customer. Ouch. Oh, with pleasure. There we go. Woo. Taxi pong. What is? Ah, oh, that one. Lovely. Okay, here it comes again. And one more time. And now we're going to land. Hurry up! Get lost! <laughs> Number three, that's good. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh. <sighs> Damn it. Uh. Let's go here. Ah, I did it again. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew you'd say that. Uh oh. You're welcome. Oh. I'm gonna stay up here. Come on! Ah. <laughs> you dirty rotten! Oh my! Last taxi! Damn it! Yes? You sure about that? Really? I don't know. No, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to wait, you know that? Patience. No, 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 no. There we go. Woo! We 
we really need some bonus taxes now. But I'm afraid we're not going to get them. Oh, this one. You're welcome. This one is really bad for the eyes. <laughs> The teleport here, by the way, is random, so sometimes it works, sometimes you, you're you not getting where you want to, but it doesn't make any sense to remember where which one went, because, like, it's it's always switching, it's random. Yeah. You're welcome, you're welcome. Alright, dogs here. Uh, like I said. Uh, that's not fair. That's good. Okay, okay. I'm coming. There we go. Where do you want to go? Well, 162. That wasn't very good. Not making a lot of money here. Hey, taxi. You say so. Now, here you must be careful not to hit the ceiling. I was going to say the teleport on the right, but there you go. <laughs> Game over, I'm afraid. That was not so good, but hey, just a little fun. <sighs> I might try that again sooner or later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Pike is signing off.